today from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. It's week two of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Tua Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. The excitement brewing here in South Florida as a moment ago. The Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. They come in off a loss in the opener last week. That one was on the road. Now they get their first taste. The first game's out of the way. Time to buckle down for the long season ahead. And we're off in week two. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here come the Bills for their first goal on offense, led by their Pro Bowl quarterback. Now in his fourth season, it's Josh Allen. It's got to feel great for the Bills franchise to know that they're set up for the future with number 17 at the helm. They don't have to worry about draft choices. They don't have to worry about free agency. They have their quarterback. And the passing attack as a team, second only to the Chiefs in 2020. And how about Josh Allen? Guided the Bills to their first playoff win since 1995 last season. His completion percentage in the last three years has gone from roughly 53% to 69% last season. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. down and he'll get this underneath to Singletary and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So the completion there but Charles looking at this defense certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon what are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow the completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him, because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. Probably me to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. This is a second and four ball at the 9. Here's Allen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. First drive of the game. We did see this in practice, didn't we? Because they allowed us to stay and watch and see what their opening script would be, even though we don't know the exact play calls. 
That looks a lot like what we saw them execute, doesn't it? It really does. And in practice, it wasn't about a lot of big shots on that opening drive. They wanted to put together a series of plays, sustain it. They've done that. The defense now, and he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bills take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week. Another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early. Great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime <laughs> he touches the ball. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Big Benogany elects not to return, and the football will come out to the 25-yard line. Now Tua Tungavailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time. And he certainly had his share of struggles in the opener through a couple of ill-time interceptions in the game. So that was something that was hard to pop all week in practice, because if he's going to help this team be a winning one, he can't give the football away like he did last week. On first down, Tungavailoa. Got a man open, that's Devontae Parker complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And we don't remember when Devontae Parker was drafted, a first round pick out of Louisville. Really hit his stride in 2019 with 1,200 yards. Numbers dipped a bit last year, but he can be a real dependable target for Tua Tunga Bailoa. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. On second and nine, Tua. He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 39. Here's Tua. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. So they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. To a hit, and the ball is out. Now this is picked up by the Bills. The 40. And what a return as he brings this one all the way back to the 25-yard line. He let one slip away last week as well, so now two fumbles lost in as many weeks. But well, we were out of practice, and we watched him work. And what did his quarterback coach talk about all week? Being a two-hand monster. And we looked at each other. Two-hand Oh, I get it. Two-hand monster. Both hands on the football. Taking care of it. Put and now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second and look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that challenge is successful one. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. 
Yeah, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. And on third and eight, defensively, they're going to beef up the secondary. Six defensive backs. Allen now looks to throw. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And it'll be Dolphin football. Miami's offense set and ready to go. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. Meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. From the gun, it's Tua. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Brian Flores learned under the master. He's going to go on fourth down. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Well, it was too far for a field goal try. You don't really gain a whole lot out of a punt, so I don't think you have much of a problem with that, do you? No, not at all. I think it's the right play, the exact right play, because even if you want to play defense and pin them deep, you know how hard it is for a punter to, to knock one dead inside the 10-yard line. That's not, a, 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 that's not necessarily easily done. So I think going for it there was the right call. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. On the counter, this is Singletary. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Off the play fake. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Emmanuel Agba that time able to drop him for a loss. You and I both know we're into a whole new realm of football because we're not just looking at tendencies anymore. We're looking at analytics, and I've got to think the analytics on third and one say run the football. Here's Matt Hawk now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked down inside the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. Back near his goal line, here's Tua. going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And he's able to get this up just shy of the 15. I mean, 
many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. So still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. Play action, now it's Tua. Going deep here for Parker. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. So here are the Bills to take over. They were winners a week ago over the Steelers, and they lead this one as well as they start here first and ten. Singletary to get the drive started. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From midfield, here's Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he's got this down to the 35. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of the regular season. Allen's throw here pulled in by Beasley. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but Cole Beasley, he's in his 10th NFL season, and in 2020, his best year yet. 82 catches, close to 1,000 yards. Loves the freedom that this Bills offense affords him. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Sanders got it. Touchdown, Buffalo. A great effort there. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So this offensive unit, yeah, they were solid in the opening week victory, and now they are looking just as sharp here in week two. And that's exactly what you want, too, because you want to get better each and every week and really ramp up as the season goes on. I know it's still early in the season and a lot can happen, but this offense, they look like they're going to be fun to watch each and every time out. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. To a tongue of Iloa in the offense heading back out. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. 
But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. To throw on second and 10. Two. And this is incomplete. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. A carry here for Hunt. Fighting through. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded at the 20. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. The Buffalo offense and Devin Singletary heading back out there. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw on that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Throwing is Allen on third. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Here's Allen on first and 10. He hits Beasley right side. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Allen to throw once more. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This from 44 yards away. The kick by Bass is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Tua, a final shot before half. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And that is incomplete. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. And that game tied at seven in the second quarter. From there, we'll make the trip down to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium.
And you can see there, it's the visiting L.A. Rams who have the lead in that one. Odell Beckham with three touchdown receptions. Lastly, let's get out to Jacksonville. See what's happening with the Jaguars at TIAA Bank Field. And they've got the lead over the visiting Denver Broncos. DJ Chark, a touchdown reception. In the game you're watching, it was Josh Allen who was on target in that first half. His guys are out in front as we get you back down to Miami and Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Here's second and a yard. On play action, here's Tua. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Jet sweep, here comes Fuller. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They fake the handoff, now Tua. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. The frustration is definitely setting in because they've thrown it to him over and over unable to come up with a catch thus far. I think he knew he would have his challenges against the secondary. I don't think he saw a goose egg at this point in the game. 49, 49. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Miami. Nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Throwing on second and eight. Allen. And Diggs has it. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Allen. Buying time to his left. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 46. Throwing now is Allen. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. The Sanders has got it complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. Now Allen. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Now he's got it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That catch now puts him on the doorstep of 500. It's his 499th reception. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll look to run with Singletary. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Devin Singletary. Fine work there on the touchdown run. And the Bills will extend their lead. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 24. A 10-play drive that time. And it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Dolphins ready to take over on offense. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, that they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 31, Tua. And this would complete to Will Fuller. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Tua now on first down. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Jerry Hughes too strong as he's in for the sack. 
Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Now Tua. And that was going to be off target and incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Quickly into the hands of Fuller. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. That's certainly playing down a distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Tua on fourth down. And going deep for Hill. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> They'll run on first down. Singletary. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Allen going to give it to Moss. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. To the air, Allen. And this one caught by Beasley. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. First down, Singletary. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Jerome Baker, Dolphins leading tackler in 2020, in on the stop there. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. He'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They will run with Singletary. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the 5 at the 6. Six. 
So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. No, they absolutely pitched a shutout. So it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way. But the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. So for Buffalo, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they will head home for next week's contest. That is against Washington. Meanwhile, for Miami, they'll drop to 0-2. And they will try to get...